Okay, everyone, so I'm back to answer the question of the week. This week I will be answering what collars we use for our German short hairs. And we purchased the identification collar from Cabela's. We use two different kinds for our dogs. So both of them have a brown leather collar that we use for every day. And then we have orange nylon identification collars for hunting mainly. Um, and there's really no reason other than we just like to have two separate ones for hunting and then for every other type of activity that we do. Now when we first got our German short hairs, I purchased just a simple, small, tiny, cute, I wish I'd have kept it, really tiny collar just from PetSmart in town. Um, I didn't need anything fancy, I just wanted something that I could attach them to when I was putting them on a leash in the yard. Um, so I just purchased something simple, nothing fancy until they started hunting and being outside more where I needed something um, a little bit sturdier. Now we like the identification collars because of the fact that we can put our information right here. So should our dogs ever get away from me when I'm out there and they are off leash or when my husband takes them hunting um, or if they just happen to get out of the yard, then someone is able to contact and figure out who um, owns those two dogs, which just makes me feel happy. There's only been one time that I was out hiking that Bentley didn't come back to me right away which made me really nervous um, and it took a long time I started to panic uh, eventually he did come back to me so he must have just been on something in the trees and I couldn't get him off of it um, but eventually he did come thank goodness but he was wearing his identification collar so should someone have found him it would have been easy for them to locate us which just makes me happy now the collars that we use also have this center ring in them on both of them. Now the center ring is important if your dogs are hunting dogs um, or if you take them hiking in treed areas, uh, anywhere where they could get hung up on something. So the center ring allows the collar to flex more than the normal material would and so they're able to then roll out of the collar should they get themselves caught on some sort of tree limb, fence post, something. And so the center ring just offers a little bit of flexibility and allows them to roll right out of the collar and um, hopefully protect themselves from whatever they've gotten caught up on. When our dogs are at home, they don't wear collars. And so I find that without collars on, they're a lot more calm because the collars represent that they're about to do something fun. So anytime I pull the collars out, they know that they're about to go hiking, hunting, outside somewhere away from the home. And so they get really excited for them, um, which you've probably seen in some other videos that I've created. When I pull the collars out, they go a little bit psycho. Now these collars are brand new. They are Bentley's brand new collars because our younger dog, Berkeley, likes to chew on his collars when they are not supervised. Um, so let me show you what that looks like. So these are Berkeley's collars, all intact. And these are Bentley's collars with the ends all chewed off. So you can see they're a little bit shorter. So we just had to get Bentley new collars. We reordered the identification collars from Cabela's and I will put that link below so that you're able to find the exact ones that we are using. So let me know any questions that you have. You can put it down in the comments below and I will use it for my weekly questions. They're trying to get out. <laughs>